Hey, my Scorpio babies, what's happening? This is EJ from Tarot to Tarot. Hope everybody is having a good week. <sighs> Hope you're having a good start to the month of October. Um, a lot of little things going on with you, Scorpio. So this is Scorpio and Taurus. Sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Let's just get right down to it. So we're doing two for overall. This is your centerpiece and your challenge, the magician, um, removing the blockages, getting some shit up out your way, and knowing that you have the ability to manifest whatever it is you're trying to manifest. So we're going to do the first two weeks, the star card, knight of pentacles, and temperance. Next week, four of wands, six of swords, and the emperor. So y'all are thinking about making some moves, looks like, but you may be, you, you got to find some balance. That, the temperance, I know that. Um, you got changes coming, for sure. So from the bottom of the deck, Scorpio and Taurus, Justice pulls the Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups pulls the Nine of Swords. Whoa. And the Magician pulls the Knight of Swords. Look, that's a lot of thinking. That's a lot of thinking, little Scorpio. That's a lot of thinking. A lot. But that's where y'all are. Y'all are trying to get to the ending of something with the same thing. Is keeping you up all night. So let's see what we got going on here. The star card pulls the hermit. That's two majors. Knight of Pentacles pulls the five of coins. Knight of coins, five of pentacles, whatever. Uh, temperance pulls the empress. Four of wands pulls the knight of coins. Six of swords pulls the knight of cups. The emperor pulls the emperor. How about that? So just looking, um, your, your challenge here with the Magician and the Knight of Swords is to start getting rid of things that just are not serving you, basically, that have you literally running around, running circles in your own mind. Um, and that Magician is about blockages that are keeping you um from being who you are so you may have some people in your experience right now that are just keeping you from having any kind of good relationship with your tours let me throw that part in there um people that are actually making you feel inadequate uh and that may not be directly that may not yeah, that's right. That may not directly involve your Taurus, but because it's making you feel some kind of way, it obviously is having an impact on your relationship with Taurus. When I look at your overall energy, the Ten of Swords and the Justice card, um, you're trying to have some balance. You're trying to look for the opportunities to grow. That's the Justice card, but you are, there's an ending somewhere, and I don't know, I'm not feeling that this is an ending with the Taurus. This is an ending with somebody that you're dealing with and probably a little closer to it it's either an ex that you've been trying to hang on to on the side as a friend and you've been sincere about this but this other whoever the, the ex is is trying to go a little deeper if you will or this could be baby mama daddy daddy baby daddy mama daddy baby mama baby daddy drama i got it out um and so naturally, on the bottom end of your overall energy, you're not content right now. Um, you're trying to be that way. But Taurus is picking up on this energy. And they're, they're trying to figure out, why, why are you acting like this? Why are you up all night? What the hell is really going on? And if you hear how I'm talking, I'm talking directly to Scorpio because this, whatever is going on, is dominating your relationship with your Taurus. Now y'all figure that part out. But that's exactly what it's doing. Taurus is here, but there's something that has 90% of your attention right now. 
and you don't, you, I dare say, this is not something or someone that you really want to have dominating 9% of your time and energy, but they are. Um, looking at this week with the hermit on top of the star, dealing with your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and trying to move past where you are. The card is about moving past your limitations, but I'm going to say move past where you are. And so this is a moment that you are going to have to take for yourself. You're going to have to tell Taurus to have a seat. Love you, boo. And you're going to have to puzzle this part out on your own. If you've not told your Taurus what exactly is going on, because this is major energy, and the, the problem with it being major is that, number one, it's kicking this the beginning of this week off. Number two, you can very easily have a wind come and blow that light out and have your ass standing on a rock by yourself. So if you have not communicated what is going on or throttling in the background, you need to let your Taurus know. Because Taurus got the ears perked up trying to figure out what the hell. And you, Scorpio, it feels like have put it on any and everything else. Oh, feel good, it's the weather, kids back in school, not in school, anything but what the real issue is because... There's a sense here that you're afraid if Taurus knew the depth of what was really going on, that they would leave. Not lost on me that whatever this is is probably going to come to the surface in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. That's not lost on me at all. So just know that part. Mercury goes stations backwards, I think, on Sunday or Monday. I'm not sure. Whenever the 13th is. Next to the Hermit and the Star with the Five of Coins and the Knight of Coins, um, you're trying to have the inner strength to keep this going, Scorpio. And you are hoping, just what I just said a minute ago, that your Taurus does not pack it up and pack it in and move them out. That is your hope. You're hoping that, you just notice how the Knight is sitting on this horse and everybody else said. social distancing if you will not close enough to really see what's on his face or hear what he's saying he's trying to keep what he's doing just trying to do it and to fuck with everybody else that's where you are and this is where you got Taurus right now about to pack up <laughs> deuces <laughs> we get to the end of this with the temperance and the empress You've got to find some balance, Scorpio. This relationship with your Taurus is not going to work if you got a lot of extra outside shit going. Taurus don't roll like that. Period. They just don't. There is not, for those of you that are cross-watching Taurus, um, I don't feel like this is third-party, three of cups, three of swords type energy, although, although I did see the three of swords when I was shuffling. Um, this really has the feeling that whomever is involved whoever the, the ex or somebody at work whatever they're trying to get what's the best way for me to say this they're trying to figure out the beauty secrets because they want to be with scorpio too right here whomever this is feels like they're seeing a different side of scorpio Scorpio is being very attentive to the Taurus. Scorpio is including Taurus in activities. And whoever this third party is, they, they're feeling this. And they're trying to get under your skin. That part. So, your self-confidence, your values, Scorpio. This is major energy. You're going to have to get clear. And you're going to have to find some balance. And you definitely are going to have to make some changes about that. Or you run the risk of falling off the swan by yourself. I'm just saying. We get to next week's energy with the Knight of Coins and the Four of Wands. You've been thinking about this, Scorpio. Thinking about to maybe Taurus is the one you want to take. And it's that energy that this third party is feeling, which is causing all this chaos and disruption. You've been thinking about taking it up a notch. Mind you, I said just thinking, but you have been thinking about taking it up a notch. And you've been taking inventory, Taurus has too, this is our energy, of what it looks like. If I move in with them, 
Do I have to get rid of my ugly chair? If they move in with me, I don't know if I can handle the dogs or the cats or the birds or the whatever. It's that kind of energy, taking inventory of what Taurus is bringing to the table. Taurus naturally is always counting and adding and subtracting. Whether we got it or not, we always adding and subtracting somewhere in the back of our brain. So we're kind of on this, this wavelength, but again, Taurus is also right here. And what you need to know about Taurus is Taurus is sick and tired of being sick and tired. So this is this for those of you that this is resonating with, this Scorpio Taurus pairing has not reached that level of it's not so easy to walk away. Right now, Taurus is feeling like we, we haven't gone that far. So maybe I just need to get my shit, pack it up, pack it in, move it out. So again, and there may be some misunderstandings. Um, and again, this is with the outside person trying to throw salt. So they may try and deceive you in some, it would be petty and silly, something like, oh, I saw your phone ringing, who is Peggy? That kind of shit. And this is not Taurus talking to you, this is whoever this other person is. Or who is Bill? Or who is whoever? Because they're trying to get in, just saying, where they fit in. So be mindful of that. Um, with the Knight of Cups sitting on top of the Six of Swords, it's about moving forward. And Scorpio, for you, it's about this fresh start with Taurus. You feel like you've got a fresh start. But, once again, we come back to the Knight of Cups. You got somebody... And, and on the other side of the Scorpio, Taurus has got somebody trying to sing to them too. I don't believe Taurus is fully aware of what's going on because again, their, their focus is on you, Scorpio, and they're trying to figure out what's going on with the Taurus Scorpio parent. How come it ain't clickety clacking? They can feel that. But unbeknownst, somebody at everybody's window trying to you tune it up, la la la, that part. So at the end of next week, I'm going to say as we get towards the middle of the month, um, you may have to, and I can't ever figure out if that's a ram or a bull up there. It don't matter. They got horns <laughs> for all of that. But you're going to have to figure out how you're going to work stability in your relationship. And now I'm talking to people, particularly if you have children, and you're trying to make this next step, Scorpio, with your Taurus, you got to take the lead on that. I think it says leadership on there. You're going to have to take the lead on it, and you're going to have to be the one to say, okay, this is what needs to happen. This is what I want my Taurus to be happy, blah, blah, blah. And right into that, it flows right to here. So, from one emperor, the leadership and the stability to the next one, putting his finger out the window and saying, okay, boo, this is what we're doing. Now, for some of you Scorpios and Tauruses that are cross-watching, sit down. <laughs> it's the same pretty. Some of you are going to make the decision, and I'm going to just say it out, out loud because it's not, I don't think it's the best decision that you can make. In the middle of all this fucking Mercury retrograde energy that you know what, I love my Taurus, but I don't think I meet their expectation. Oh, shit. I don't fuck them now, then some of you may get here feel like, yeah, okay, I want to move forward, but I don't think I'm good enough. These are the words that are flashing in front of my face. Because this person, whoever this is behind the swan, the one we can't see, you know, you can't do all that. You ain't got the lady to take care of her. Blah, blah, blah. Same thing coming from God. You know? What you doing with him? Cause you know he ain't, he ain't all that. You hear what I'm saying? See, that's all that, and have you fallen off your swan by yourself, Scorpio? Cause you see, Taurus is nowhere to be found. And see, it's that kind of shit that'll get in your head. And by the time you get here, baby, I don't know if we can do this. Come on now. And that's serious business. That's serious. And, and the things that are pivotal on this board are major energy: the Hermit, the Empress, and the Emperor. So, the caution there would be to think about what you're doing 
going backwards in the middle of a Mercury retrograde, Scorpio, um, despite Taurus losing their mind behind some shit, that that's, goes without saying. That's quite naturally what happen. But you, you're not trying to go backwards. You're trying to move forward. So let's look at the third and the fourth week. Nine of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Here's your commitment. Ten of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. So the Nine of Swords pulls the Ten of Cups. Wheel of Fortune pulls the Two of Cups. Queen of Pentacles pulls the Princess of Cups. Hierophant pulls the Five of Cups. Scorpio, what the hell are you doing? I'm cupped out. Ten of Cups pulls the Two of Swords. And the King of Pentacles pulls the Seven of Swords. Y'all are in your head. Y'all are emotional wrecks by the end of the month. Good Lord. Um, fortunately here, it looks like many of you are going to hang in here with your Taurus. You're going to bypass the Emperor, both Emperor cards and just say, fuck it, I'm not dealing with this person anymore. I tried to be a friend. I tried to help. And you're going to get into the end of the month with the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So the emotional burden that I'm talking about, you'll be done with it. And this, the, the totality of this card on this side. You'll be done with it. The anxiety, the emotional burden that this third person is trying to bring to you could, like I said, again, it could be a baby mama, baby daddy, and know that blessings and good news are on the way. There's your happy family. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And that's the completion, really, from the nine in your head to the ten on your doorstep. So there's going to be some conversation in here because as we get to the end of the month, we start flowing. This is all Scorpio energy. Um, the Two of Cups, it will be the luck of the Wheel of Fortune that you and your Taurus, boo 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 boo, will be together. Um, there may be some stingy things going on. There may be some hard conversations that are going on, but it's going to be a thing about timing with the two of you. Between Taurus and Scorpio, it's going to be a thing about timing. So, um, the note here is that you don't want to let this energy get too far out of hand. Because, again, you are dealing with a Taurus, and once a Taurus gets something in their head, you can have evidence from F. Lee Bailey <laughs> and 12 other attorneys you don't know proving the very thing the Taurus wants to prove, whether it's true or not. Because once Taurus gets this in their head that something else is going on, I don't care who you bring it to the table. Taurus is gone. Out deuces. Scorpio, understand Taurus is still healing from some things in the past. That's the energy that I feel. And while much of whatever karmic situation they may have been in previously, much of that is healed, it's still their trigger moments. And while Taurus may not be saying a whole lot to you, I, I guarantee you they count the suitcases in the closet. What you want to bet? So you need to open up, Scorpio, and start talking about all this bullshit up here so you can keep the good. I think what you need to know is Taurus will understand it if you don't wait to the end of something to tell them. So today is a good day as any. What the hell? Whenever you're watching this, you probably need to cut me off, call or text boo-boo and say, hey, bully baby, how you doing? You need to have a conversation. Taurus will be open to that. Once we get past all that, happy family, ending a bad situation, an emotional burden, coming up off of you, Scorpio, getting with Boo Boo, hopefully, and knowing that, just knowing there's some divine things going on there with the Wheel of Fortune. There's some divine timing and some other shit going on. At the end of that third week with the Princess of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, um, you need to close the distance. Ordinarily, this is about in his upright position about um, creating some emotional distance. And as a water sign, sometimes it's not always easy. That is not the note here. The note here is you need to close the gap on any emotional distance you have with your Taurus sitting up here on top of the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to get the empathy. You will get it from Taurus. They will get it. If you explain to them 
this is my ex. I was trying to guide, mentor, be a friend, loan money, what the fuck ever. Here, here's your proof that Taurus is going to get it. But you need to hurry up and close that emotional gap. Taurus is loyal to a damn fault, but not that damn loyal anymore. Take it for what it's worth. We get to the beginning of the fourth week with the Five of Cups and the Hierophant. <coughs> you may be a little miserable, Scorpio. I'm going to say that out loud. You may be a little miserable because as is true with anybody worth their weight in gold, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, whoever, it's hard. It is hard breaking up something because whoever this is, you've been you've been here and done this. Whoever this third person is, you know this person. It didn't work out. And sometimes it's hard to look at the whole situation, look at what part you played, look at what part the other person played, and move forward. Sometimes it's difficult. But, once again, you're crying over the red wine spilled on your white carpet. And you got a tourist behind you going, what the fuck? Are you serious? So, when you get in this energy, Scorpio, tone it down. And again, if you communicate with Taurus, Taurus probably has some stories for you. I'm just saying. But that communication is going to seal the deal. I'm just saying. This is Taurus right here. Communication that you give is going to seal the deal with Taurus. And it will be a done deal. Which will move you right over here to the Ten of Cups. Oh boy. <laughs> The connection, the family, the tradition, all the shit that you want. But you've got to be able to see the reality of your past situation. It's done. It's over. And again, I, I'm trying to be clear about this. I don't think there's any fucking going on. Let me say that for Taurus a bit, because I know Taurus is like, I cut this shit off, call some bitch mad. No, I don't think there's any fucking going on, Taurus. I think Scorpio was trying to be a friend, trying to help somebody through a tough time, and that somebody took an inch of trying to get a mile. I'm just saying. Scorpio is going to be in this energy where, damn, I thought, and I tried my best, and I don't want to fuck up. Remember, this other person got in Scorpio's head, Taurus. Just remember that part. So it may be a minute. Don't just expect Scorpio to just jump out of you and... If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you know they can get moody. Little cave dwellers get an attitude and a heartbeat. So be patient. Let them work through, offer whatever help or space you can, Taurus. Scorpio, go through this the way that you need to go through it without being disrespectful. I don't know why I'm saying that, but okay. Make sure, Taurus, make sure you clue them in. And they will support you and cooperate as long as they know you're being real and honest, you should not have a problem. Once again, you seal the deal. As long as everything is going the way everything should be going, at least in that direction. At the end of all of this, the Seven of Swords sitting on top of the King of Pentacles. You're going to have to walk away from Scorpio. You're going to have to walk away from other people know what's going on. It just feels like Scorpio's trying to do the right thing, just kind of clue-free at this point about exactly the depth that this third party is trying to get to. Other people are fully aware because it feels like the third party is running around. I'm going to get him back. I'm going to get her back. They run around telling folk. I'm just saying now. Keep moving. Walk past that bullshit, whatever they're telling you, because you know people going to have their two cents they want to put in. You know why you're not with this person, Scorpio. You know why you're with Taurus. You don't owe nobody no explanation, no shit. You just don't. So, hmm, get your swords. Do not create any unnecessary scenarios in your head about the bullshit and keep it moving. I promise you, Taurus will be sitting right there at the end of the day as long as you show courage and you are able to stand up for your relationship with Taurus. If you think 
you can just, you know, not say nothing, or let this little bullshit take hold or take root, and everything gonna be cool. No, no. But if Taurus knows that you're trying to be about the right thing, this is exactly what you're gonna get male, female, whatever. They're gonna be sitting right there, ruling the roost, waiting on you to get back. Period. Don't let these folks get all up in your business, start telling you what you should and should not be doing. I promise you, Scorpio, if you make them, I don't like to say this in readings, but it's it's here. If you make the mistake of going back, you're going to end up with the same issues and reasons that you left a whole lot sooner than you got them the first time. I can't say that any plain. There's a reason why this situation, and it, I can feel the energy. It's, it's almost like it's a nasty, raw, petty, um, do anything at any cost type of person. And that, for whatever reason, drove you crazy, Scorpio. That's why you got out of that situation. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, that is a blocking point. With the magician, this is one of the things, this, this person is one of the people or things that's blocking you from the kind of happiness because they got you running around in your head on some bullshit. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, your challenge for the month, you don't need to be running around chasing thoughts and chasing people that mean you no good. They ain't doing nothing but draining your energy. Let's see what the Oracle cards have for you, Scorpio and Taurus. I know this was mainly geared towards Scorpio. Hopefully, Taurus will get some insight as to what's going on if it's resonating. As Grandmama say, eat the fish and lead the bones. Education. Yes, sir. Come together. That's yes, true. And intention. <laughs> that sums up the whole damn reading, don't it? Um, educate yourself, Scorpio, on what this person is doing. Go talk to somebody. Go ask some questions. Go find out what this person has been saying behind your back. Just saying. Educate yourself. Get with your Taurus. What are you doing? Come together. Work as a unit. Take this to the next level, Scorpio. Why are you bullshitting and playing around? You know the person you have in Taurus. And I dare say, I think some of you can say Taurus is one of the, probably one of the better people you've dated. Whatever sex, male, female, whatever. This is probably one of the better people you've dated. And you bullshitting around because somebody can't get their act together? Man... Taurus is going to look at the intention. I don't know how to say that. What was your intention? Scorpio, this goes a long way. They're not going to be looking at whatever was done or said. They want to know what was your intention. Taurus is smart enough to know a lot of things can look a certain way and not be a certain way. But what was your intention? Why were you trying to even have a conversation with this person? So be ready to answer some hard questions, Scorpio, from your Taurus. I'm just saying. Be ready. Let me see. Let me pull some granny cards. Well, no. Yeah, no, granny cards. Educate yourself. Read a book. Find out what makes people like this tick. I'm just saying. When they call, pick up a book. Don't pick up the phone. Come on now. If they trying to ride past your job, go get a book. You feel me? With your tours, Talk about commitment. It, talk about it. You're not talking about it because you caught up in some other shit. It's not going to help your cause in the end. So you need to open <laughs> mouth <laughs> and start talking. I'm just saying. 
And you need to talk about commitment. You don't need to um, circle or dance around it. Taurus is quite capable of getting it, I promise you. Don't believe what you see. So, Scorpio, this is directly to you. And Taurus, too. You know what, Taurus, too. Um, Taurus, don't believe what you see. It's, it's all smoke and mirrors. It's third party trying to fuck some shit up. Okay, Scorpio, that third person that's trying to get in where they fit in, don't believe what you see. They're trying to style, flex, and profile for you because you dumped them or broke up or whatever. And now they see how unbelievably well you're treating your Taurus. I'm just saying. They're going to try and come up with all kind of shit. Do not be surprised the way shit's going this year if this third person didn't just try and tell some straight-ass lie on you to get you in trouble, Scorpio. Hello? Don't believe what you see. Don't do it. Taurus, if you're cross-watching and this, this applies to you or this situation is resonating with you and you feel like Scorpio ain't talking fast enough, you may want to just broach the subject. I'm just saying. I may have some details wrong or incorrect or got them in the wrong place or the people and the faces and the places in the wrong place, but you get the gist of this reading. So, with that said, Taurus, maybe you need to just kind of open the lines of communication. Boo, are you okay? And if you have some general understanding of who this person might be, you might want to say, what, what, how's so-and-so doing? Look at the reaction that you get. That'll tell you way more than anything else. Just saying. Be patient, Taurus. The feeling here is not Scorpio trying to fuck around, but somebody trying to get in here because they're jealous. Plain and simple. I love y'all. Hope y'all have a good week. Bye-bye.